Let's go to the audio sound bites. CNN, the lead. Yesterday afternoon, Jake Tapper spoke with the national security analyst Peter Bergen about the Boston Marathon bombings. Tapper said, Peter, obviously we don't want to speculate, but we will. No, he didn't say that. I just added that because that's what they're doing. Obviously, we don't want to speculate. We don't know what this was. But is there reason for people who deal in counterterrorism to think that this is an act of terrorism or at least suspect? Of course, it's terrorism. You have two bombs in pressure cookers with shrapnel in there. They were in pressure cookers, in black bags. Of course, this is terrorist, regardless who did it. So, uh, Peter, obviously, we don't want to speculate. We don't know what this was. But is there reason for people who deal in counterterrorism to think that this is an act of terrorism or suspect it strongly, at least? If it was hydrogen peroxide, this is sort of a signature of al-Qaeda. If it was more conventional explosives, which are much harder to get hold of now, that might be some other kind of uh, right-wing extremists. We've also seen other extremist groups, right-wing groups, attacking, for instance, trying to attack the Martin Luther King parade in Oregon in 2010. Do you know who the most militant extremist groups in America are today, folks? Do you know who it is? Environmental wacko groups are the number, and they are leftist. And they, the environmentalist wackos are the number one, or close to it anyway, terror group. Now, you just heard Mr. Bergen here on CNN. It's either al-Qaeda, but we really don't think so, and we really hope not, or right-wing extremists, just like the groups that tried to attack the Martin Luther King Parade in Oregon in 20... Martin Luther King Parade in 20... It is just not possible that any left-wing Occupy Wall Street radicals or environmental radicals or people unhappy with the economy did this. Not even possible, you see.